used to belly laugh so gregarious that my frame would strain from the high spirits that your presence would always take me higher. Like mountain climbers at the wrong altitude, it did not matter, and that we were always gasping for each other. You know, we were like saplings and trying to be too big for our bushes. Any overconfidence I had, a poor camouflage for my insecurity, and I really thought I loved you then. That crazy kind of desire that the day after Christmas you'd drive, take a bus, fly, do anything to be by their side. Using love letters like memorized testaments to sustain you those hundreds and hundreds of hours of phone calls. Well, you know what? They're now all justified as if you could really rationalize love, but there you were trying. Young, dumb, and full of cum, dedicating songs like pilgrimages, snapping photos like Polaroids, making memories like kaleidoscopes that you'd one day, yes, one day, look back on over and over again and think that the first time that I ever heard you use the word lover instead of boyfriend and how I hungered to fill that role, pulling your hips into mine, your eyes bleeding wine through mine, and we were delirious like children screaming about how strong our sandcastles were in the face of reality. You know what? Well, the waves, well, they nearly drowned us, but there you were, your lips aquatic, rising like the mythological god that you said that I reminded you of and that you saw a beauty in me that I did not know had even existed yet. Your smile was always there. Only in moments to be replaced with lips full like honeysuckle. Who's your honey baby? I demand like a mischievous boy that already knows the answer. I am! I'm your honey baby and I always will be! <laughs> Exhibiting an euphoria that was so pungent that we seemed to forge our impressions onto the furniture of every room that we graced. And grace, I was never, never more beautiful than when I was with you. Feeling like the best days and the best moments of my life. Well, you know, they started to have less space between them because of you. And I couldn't get rid of any of those damn photos, you know, because they all turned out perfect. You know, they say a picture's worth a thousand words. Well, I've got so many images, I've already written epics. Istanbul, Paris, Cozumel, Hialeah Bay, red flashes, red tangerines, red sunsets that never seem to set on science fiction skylines. And I'm scraping my nails on sculptures in Spain. And I'm sifting through sand lines in Costa Rica, scratching skyscrapers in San Francisco, trying to hold on to your memory because nobody but nobody ever loved me like you did. Years escaped me suddenly as some days seemed to last forever and you gave me everything that you had to give but you know what sometimes it was more love than you had to live for yourself but there you were your hands holding me down on sweaty mattresses your breasts swinging above me like pendulums your tongue forcing itself down my throat like a doctor's stethoscope as your carnality could cripple me because God how you wanted me then and Jesus did I call your name a thousand times because nobody but nobody ever loved me like you did so that when your eyes flip back into eternity you know it really hurt because in those moments I could see all the possibilities of what could have been. Tacos, crepes, falafels, grapes, we were so greedy then. Mangoes, tortellini with cheese, fondue, crawfish, boils, and sushi, well we saw the world, but yes, through the food that we ate. So that the last time I was with you, and while you were crying, and me trying to reassure you that everything was gonna be okay, though I wonder it myself sometimes, seeing how your street cuts to the city in my heart like a knife, and yes, I still want it all, and I believe that we have not even met. Yet. Thank you.